Glauber Milwaukee Journal Sentinel published 1.53 p.m. EDT September 4, 2019 President Donald Trump trailed the two top Democratic rivals and was tied with two others in hypothetical matchups in Wisconsin, according to Wednesday's Marquette University Law School poll. We're only in the second inning, poll director Charles Franklin cautioned. He added, these numbers are movable things on where we stand today but not predictions of the final outcome. Former Vice President Joe Biden led Trump by 51% to 42%. U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont led Trump by 48% to 44%, close to the margin of error. U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts and Trump were tied at 45% each. U.S. Senator Kamala Harris of California and Trump were tied at 44% each. In the Democratic primary race, Biden was the first choice of 28%, Sanders at 20%, Warren at 17% and South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg at 6%. Biden is viewed favorably by 70% of Democratic primary voters and unfavorably by 20%, Sanders was at 63% favorable and 21% unfavorable. Warren was viewed favorably by 53% and unfavorably by 12% but 34% either hadn't heard enough or don't know enough about her to have an opinion. Buttigieg was viewed favorably by 37% and unfavorably by 7% while Harris was viewed favorably by 35% and unfavorably by 14%. Many voters are not yet acquainted with the field, Franklin said. Trump's job approval rating stood at 45% compared to 53% disapproval. But when rating his job performance on how he's handling the economy, Trump's approval was at 49% against 50% disapproval. 37% said the economy has gotten better, 25% worse and 34% said it has stayed the same. Asked how the economy would look over the next 12 months, 26% expected it to get better but 37% said they expected it to get worse, while 33% said they expected it to stay about the same. Republicans remained quite optimistic about the economy, with 41% say it would be better. Among Democrats, just 12% said the economy would get better. Asked about tariffs, which have become a key economic lever used by the Trump administration, 30% said they helped the economy and 46% said they hurt. Related, both sides in 2020 election fight are watching farm country for political fallout from Trump tariffs. Wisconsin's place at center stage of the presidential race means that there will be intense focus on the survey as pundits analyze the numbers. Dan Balls, chief correspondent of The Washington Post, recently weighed in on the narrowest electoral terrain in recent memory and pointed to four states likely to determine the outcome, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Florida. Many analysts point to Wisconsin as the single state upon which the election could turn, Balls wrote. Craig Gilbert of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel made a persuasive case about Wisconsin importance in an article last month. The survey of 800 Wisconsin registered voters was conducted August 25 to 29. The margin of error was plus or minus 3.9 percent. For questions involving only Democrats the margin of error was plus or minus 5.3 percent while a half sample was used for some issue-related questions with a margin of error of plus or minus 5.6 percent. In April's poll, Trump had 46 percent job approval to 52 percent of Wisconsin voters who disapproved of his performance as president. In that same survey, just 28% said they would definitely vote to re-elect Trump and 14% said they would probably vote to re-elect him, 46% said they would definitely vote for someone else and 8% said they would probably vote for someone else. Among Democrats and independents who did not lean toward Republicans, the April poll found Sanders a top choice of 32%, Biden a top choice with 29% and Warren a top choice with 17%. Let's block ads. Why?